Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm gonna be doing something that's been super long overdue, long overdue, highly anticipated, highly requested, something you guys have been begging me to do for so long. I haven't done a video like this in like six months. I'm doing a chit chat, get ready with me. And in this chit chat, get ready with me, I'm going to be as candid, as real, as just spilling all of the tea, just exposing myself, everything. I'm gonna be as candid as possible in this video. And um, yeah, I, I am a little bit nervous to film this video. I'm a little bit just been putting this off. I, I have been promising this video for a few months now and I've just been putting it off because there's just so much we need to talk about and just I, I'm nervous to talk about. So, but first I wanna give a huge shout out to today's video sponsor. Thank you Glambot.com for sponsoring today's video. Glambot is hosting a huge vault sale. A vault sale is where they lock down some of their hottest items and mark them down up to 90%. Some of them could be a dollar, some of them could be half off. Seriously, it is like a huge sale that they rarely ever do. They only do this like every other month. But in order for you to shop the vault items, you have to make a non-vault item purchase. So all you have to do is buy $20 worth of items. You can buy a $20 item or two $10 items or whatever. Enter my code CHERRYTHOMAS in all caps. You'll get 50% off. And then immediately after your purchase is confirmed, you will get access, instant access to all of their vault items, which could either be a dollar, it could be makeup bundles, it could be stuff that's 90% off. Seriously, it's some of the hottest items, like it, any, any sort of makeup product you can think of. It's gonna be there. You guys know how much I love Glambot. I use Glambot all the time. I use Glambot to either sell some of my used makeup that I can't give away, or uh, donate, or I'll even buy from Glambot because sometimes I don't wanna pay full price on items if I don't know if I'm gonna like it or not, you know? All the links to Glambot.com will be down below and as well as the, the code for you to copy and paste into your little checkout cart. Anyways, without further ado, let's get right on into this. Get ready with me. I bought some things. So I'm going to make this, I'm gonna start off pretty lighthearted, not talk about too serious of things. And then we're gonna slowly tumble into serious stuff and just stuff that I'm not excited to talk about. Literally the title that you are seeing below me, above me, is not clickbait. All that stuff that's in that title, whatever I decide to put in the title, is 100% true and we're gonna get into it. So the first thing I wanted to talk about is my face. So uh, if you haven't watched my last video, you might not know that I got my lip. If you are being, if you're confused as to what's different about my face, if you're like looking at my face and you're like, something's different. I recently went to Dr. Dadvand, Dadvand, MD. I'll leave his name and his socials on the screen. I honestly, if I'm butchering your name and you're watching this, I am so sorry. So a little bit of history on my face before I get into like the new doctor that I've seen. Basically the first time I ever got any sort of cosmetic procedure done uh, was back in 2016, January of 2016. And I went to this place called CRMC Laser. I did get it done for free. Uh, most influencers get their stuff done for free, in case you guys didn't know that. And they did an amazing job. I really liked how they did my lips. I, I, I enjoyed it thoroughly. And basically, I went to a new place called Laser Way. Laser Way was the beginning of the end, basically. It was a big mistake. What I've come to learn and find out was that most of these places like Laser Way or the flawless laser centers that you see on like social media that you see every influencer talk about, even me, unfortunately, I'm sorry, doing this stuff. I feel like, I feel like my brightness is a little too high. There. Don't typically have the right kind of people doing this stuff. Don't have like the well, most well-trained people um, doing the injectables. So basically, the first time I went to Laser Way, the lady did my lip injections and she massaged, not even massaged, like basically just got my lips and like ringed them out. Like it hurt basically. Her massaging my lips hurt. Um, and that's, you're not supposed to be so aggressive with Juvederm. I started getting buildup of scar tissue in my lips. It was because she was so aggressive with how she did my lips. And it wasn't that bad. It wasn't that bad at first. Then I went to this company called Flawless Laser Center the same year, 2016. 
And they did the exact same thing to my lips. Needed them the fuck out, basically. Just, just like, wringing the fuck out of my lips. It got worse. And then that's when this, like, ball started to develop on my lip. Uh, long story short, doing my, my cosmetic surgery for free was never the right move, ever. And I am so sorry that I subjected my followers to that kind of stuff. So I found this new doctor, Devon Davin. I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce his name. I am so sorry. And he dissolved my lips. So basically I went to him. I have footage of it that I'm gonna show you guys. He basically dissolved my lips, which was a much needed thing. And the dissolving of my lips was the most painful, painful thing I have ever endured. I have a high pain tolerance. I, to be honest, I love the feeling of pain. That sounded very emo of me, but I love, I like, I'm like, I enjoy it. Like, it's nice to me, you know? And this was just, this was just awful. And then he also did my Botox. So when I raised my eyes or raised my brows, you cannot see any sort of, well, you can a little bit. He didn't go ham on the Botox because I am 21 years old. I originally went there to get Kybella done. And once he told me, he was like, you don't need Kybella anymore. I think it's just your, like, your chin's a little bit back. So it's giving you like that kind of turkey neck like this. It's giving that, that kind of effect and it's kind of emphasizing that effect. So after he did the chin filler, which is called Roma, Rauma, it's sort of like Voluma, where it feels like it, like it attaches to the bone. Um, I almost cried because it finally gave me like this side profile that I never thought I was gonna be able to have. There's a reason why he's like double board certified and he's like one of the most you know, recommended in Beverly Hills. Um, so I'm definitely gonna keep seeing him and I'm definitely gonna recommend him to literally everyone. Okay, so moving away from that, let's just go ahead and bite the bullet and just talk about what I know most of you are kind of shocked to even see in the title. Um, and it's that me and Kevin, my boyfriend that most of you know, that's my boyfriend, broke up. We're back together now, so everyone, calm down him and i broke up about a couple months ago maybe a month ago either a month or a couple months ago not for anything like serious or like like messed up or like no one cheated on anyone or no one like um it was nothing like that it was more me than anything my anxiety has been the worst it's ever been ever in my life uh and it just it it got worse in December. Like seriously, some of the worst panic attacks, like couldn't even go places because my chest was always hurting from from anxiety. Crying, I was depressed, I was having full on breakdowns almost every single day. I, I couldn't even enjoy my, like, I seriously couldn't even pull myself to like film full on videos and like pay attention to like content and stuff that I was making for my channel and you guys notice like around December like noticing my content kind of going downhill a little bit and not being as well edited and like not really put together as well and as much as like Kevin and anyone could tell me like Thomas you're fine like even doctors like I would go to the doctor and the doctor would tell me like you're healthy your cholesterol your cholesterol is really good your blood pressure amazing for someone that has a lot of stress amazing your um like your immune system, great. I've gotten x-rays done, CAT scans done, all that stuff, amazing stuff coming back. But in my head, I could have sworn I'm dying, you know? And the anxiety, like the chest pains from the anxiety, the chest, like the, the, the fatigue from the anxiety, the, the headaches from the anxiety, causing me to be like, oh no, I have cancer. Oh no, I have this, I have lupus, I have this, I have that, I have that. It was just like a, a constant thing just going on over and over and over and over and over again in my mind. And I noticed myself relying a lot on Kevin. It got to the point where I was like, listen, Kevin, quit your job. <laughs> Move in with me, quit your job. I will pay your bills. I will anything I can for you to not have to go to work and not be with me all the time. And that's, <laughs> if as you if you can imagine, is um, how do you say toxic? And um, he he still did it. He definitely still still quit his job. I still helped him out until he eventually had a a, a, 
a video to go went viral and you know he was able to take care of himself and he's still able to take care of himself now we found an apartment we moved in together full time and my anxiety wasn't getting any better i noticed that i was still relying on him as far as like my anxiety goes i had this this moment where i was sitting down with myself and i was like i can't do this to someone else how do i put this it's it's normal for you to lean on someone when you're down it's it's normal to uh, to to vent to other people it's normal to need help sometimes from other people but what's not normal is making them quit their life to support yours that's when i was like we need to break up i, I don't know what like what to say but it, it was just it wasn't a fun conversation and i'm not going to go into detail as to what i said to save myself from ruining my makeup right now from crying i want you guys to know that it wasn't like anything serious it was just me learning how to love myself to understand myself and to get out of anxious situations by myself uh, without needing and relying on him all the time because that's not healthy and that's not what a relationship should be and relationships should be 50 50 not i'm giving 100 or i'm giving 25 percent because that's all i can give right now and you're giving 75 percent because you know what i mean so you know we were broken up for a little bit and we were saving face on social media because obviously we had a fucking channel together what's crazy is that that moment when i was at my lowest point and i, I went to confide into friends about the whole situation like going to cry and just be upset it was almost like an inconvenience for them and just like this whole six months was just like me learning more about myself and learning about what's best for me and cutting out people that don't really have my best in my best interest in heart at heart and just understanding myself a little bit more and that's why i haven't been as consistent on youtube as much as i should be because as much as i love doing youtube as much as this is like a dream of mine growing so fast like i am right now like not as fast as most people but fast for me it comes with so much hate and so much negativity. I find myself reading these awful, awful comments, like people slanderizing my name and trying to tell me who I am and trying to tell me what my character is like without even knowing me. And it, it drives me insane. So having that, and then on top of that, dealing with all my mental illnesses, I have clinical depression, I have horrible anxiety, I have ADHD and ADD, dealing with all of that on top of being a social media influencer with thousands of people staring at me all the time. I lost my mind <laughs> a little bit. There was times where I just broke down and said, you know what? I'd rather die than do this anymore. That's a place I haven't been in since I was about 15 when I first tr trigger warning by the way when I first tried to kill myself um tried to overdose um I'm gonna cry <sighs> okay um <laughs> yeah um it was just a dark place that I was in and on top of dealing with an eating disorder uh, last year and dealing with people trying to ruin me basically just all of that stuff it just stacks on top of each other you know and I was fully prepared to just you know say goodbye to the world I haven't felt like that since, like I just said, since I was 15 when I first tried to kill myself and had to go to the hospital for it. And, you know, I'm the type of person that tries to defend myself a lot and tell people that they're wrong, that I'm not this person that they're trying to make me out to be. And, you know, sometimes you just have to let it go. And that's what I've been having a hard time doing is just 
letting people argue with a wall because I have had so many allegations and videos and people trying to tear me down when when I tell you I'm just at home just wanting to die all the time that I just don't have the time to try to like scam people or do any of these horrible things that people want to say that I'm I'm doing it's a bit much I'll tell you that because sometimes and it, it's, it's gotten to the point where I'm like constantly like what my obsession with how people feel about me has definitely gotten worse now that I've grown as a social media influencer been checking reddit all the time where they make awful threads about me making fun of my appearance or making fun of my character or how I talk or like this or that and you know what for the most part most of the the stuff thrown my way is pretty called for because I mean let's be real I open my mouth quite a lot I can be a bit controversial with my opinions I can be a bit vocal about how I feel about influencers and the stuff that they do I was talking to Manny MUA about it recently where back in 2016, I was sleeping on someone's couch in LA, an old friend of mine, because I couldn't leave LA because I couldn't afford it. Bitter about all these influencers doing so well. And I'm sitting on someone's couch, smoking weed all day, getting drunk all night, attack them. And Manny was definitely one of those people. And I talked to, them, talked to him the other day and I was like, I am so sorry I ever did that. I was disappointed. The, Nikki Tutorials told me this as well. She said, I was disappointed. Well, they said they were disappointed, but we'd never hated you. And I regret those moments. I, ha I still have those moments to this day where I'm like super immature and super unprofessional. And, you know, I will say some awful things about people not realizing that like, yeah, just because they hurt your feelings doesn't mean you need to hurt theirs. On to something a little less depressing. Uh, my merch comes out June 26th. Comes out my merch comes out June 26th with it, which is like four or five days from today, from when this video goes out. I put a little bit more coin and time and effort into it, and I had some of my followers be a part of the campaign. Um, they're actually modeling the merch. So when you go on shopthomashalbert.com. You'll see all of their beautiful faces in my merch. And it was just so cool having like followers of mine in my merch shoot. And I did say in my last video that it's going to retail for $24.99. That was a mistake. It might retail for $34.99 because it is a hoodie. They cost a little bit more to make. Um, so I hope you don't mind. I love hoodies. I The reason why I did hoodies as a launch in July, because some of you are like, are you sure? It's a little hot. <laughs> I don't want to make stuff that I'm not going to wear. Most of you don't know, I'm obsessed with hoodies. I always wear hoodies. Why not make something that I know I'm going to wear all the time? Never did I think in that moment that that video would get over a million views and that Jeffree Star would see it and make a, his own video give me a shout out and then every other influencer in the world would make a video and give me a shout out. And even though some didn't because some of them hated me and they didn't want to give me a shout out, no shade. Um, never did I realize that it would blow up. Within a month, I would gain over 200,000 subscribers. I've been gaining a lot of subscribers too right now recently for some reason. So hi, if you're new, thank you so much for just being a part of this journey with me. It really means the world to me. This palette, by the way, this Dominique Cosmetics Lemonade palette is so nice. I'm signed under full screen now, have the nicest manager, the coolest manager ever, Kate. And she takes care of me, she gets me to pay my rent on time. Thank you, Kate. <laughs> and yeah, I'm just, I'm in a good headspace now. I, I, I'm kind I'm slowly getting out of this anxiety, depression, just hole that I was in for 
about six months. You know, it's crazy because your life could be going so amazing and all of a sudden just anxiety and depression can just just pull you down and you can be in it for months. Like, I feel like my natural lashes are so ugly because I put false lashes on all the time so they kind of just like look all sparse and crap. All right, you guys, I feel like that is the end of this Get Ready With Me. I hope it wasn't too heavy and too over, like, just too much sharing and I hope it didn't like ruin any of your moods or anything like that. I just want to continue to share and be open with you guys because I feel like we live in an age where influencers are just a little bit dehumanized and we are looked at that we don't have any feelings or emotions and I, I, I want to change that kind of stereotype even for people that aren't influencers and they're just working nine to fives or they're going to school or anything like that where people feel like they can't have emotions or feelings or have mental illnesses. Like, I don't want people to feel like that. I want people to share how they feel. I want people to be themselves, even if that means that you're sad or you're, you have anxiety or you're upset or you're depressed or whatever that means. Be okay with that and accept it. Accept that you're depressed. Accept that you have anxiety. Cope with it and learn how to handle it. And, and that's just something I'm trying to, to relay and I want that message to come across when I overshare on Twitter or when I overshare on in this Get Ready With Me that I'm a human being and just, so are you and you're allowed to be a human being and have feelings and have emotions and, and cry and feel overwhelmed and feel like you're being overworked or you're stressed or whatever. You feel like you're not getting paid as much as you should be get, being paid for your job or feel like you're being overworked in school and like you're getting too much homework. You're allowed to feel those things and don't ever let anyone make you feel crazy or stupid or or immature or anything like that for having those feelings. I, I don't want you guys to ever to to ever feel that way. And that's just what I'm trying to the message I'm trying to get across in in this video. And I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it was helpful. And again, thank you, Glambot, for sponsoring this very depressing get ready with me. And yeah. I want to thank you guys so much for watching today's video, and I can't wait to see you in my next one. Bye, guys.